Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a brand new release, 2020 Panini Prism Baseball. Six box, half case, pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these lovely people right here for getting into the action, really appreciate it. Did a lot of finds today, and uh, it was nice to do uh, to get Panini Prism Baseball on the board too. So thanks very much everybody. Half case from a fresh case right here, so... Need a little room here. Ooh. Hefty, bulky. You'll be able to see on the top camera above my head all the boxes. All right, so what are the, it's a half case break. So that's the right half, here is the left half. We're gonna select a die. One, two, three for these six boxes right here, four, five, six for that. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do the right side there. And this, we're just going to mark with those X's so you know they're from the same case. Right there. And we'll save these for next time. Uh, we might be able to run this back tonight if you want to. Okay. So we've got Acuna Jr. on the front right here. This is new for 2020. Did they did they do Prison Baseball last year? They did. Okay. It wasn't select they didn't do last year. Right. So Prison, so select was a new one for this year. Prison they did do last year. All right. All right so we're looking for ultra rare gems inserts and tiger stripe parallels and three autographs per box on average. All right, good luck everybody. Who's in this, anyone, do we have anyone watching live who's in this break right now? Anyone watching this and enjoying this live? Arthur maybe? Jeremy 33 perhaps? Oh, El Canon's here. All right, I see you, Josh. Got the Rockies. Rick T, maybe Rick T usually listens in the background. Matt Medlin is usually around. Johnny Cannon, maybe? There's there's Medlin. Hi, Medlin. I knew, I knew Matt was lurking around. All right. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so we got some people here. Good luck, everybody. We got Andres Munoz. So it looks like the reds are not numbered. I like that design this year. Right. Not bad. All right, we got a Christian Yelich there. The number's right there to 100. Looks like these red ones are not numbered, but they will ship. It's only veteran commons that won't ship. Nice. John McCall is here. John, congrats on your McDavid. Are you, I'm, I'm, are you happy with the price? Blues are not numbered as well. There's Chris Paddock to 149 and Bubba Starling to 35. That's our first autograph. Yeah, I'm very happy for John as well. We appreciate him getting into our break. Jason's happy. He's in the chat. I'm happy. I hope John is happy. 
And there, that's uh, Kyle Armstrong with the Royals. There you go, Kyle. Chris Paddock, Padres, John McCall. Darksiders needs a, needs a Bichette. All these inserts will ship, of course. It's a nice parallel there. Instant impact. Juan Soto to 175. Jim Morin. Remember the red and blue not numbered, so they will ship, but I'm just breezing by those. AJ Puck, Arthur with the A's. Arthur two for three on the day. There you go. I like AJ Puck. Sunny Gray to 175. Austin Meadows. Ooh, these, these cards move really smooth, too. Lourdes Guriel. Patrick Sandoval, blue. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. Instant impact to 60. These look cool, too. Right? Hey, Josh is like, hey, all I want is one Rockies autograph. Is that too much to ask? No, it's not. All right, there's our first three autographs out of this box. Chicago's White Sox is Danny uh, Mendick going to Leonard N. Sam Hilliard. Steven Strasburg, 30 out of 35. Uh, Jim Warren and the Nats. Was that Tom Brady bit from the, the Panini press conference, right? The kid reporter? Or he was just like crying about his dad. What a baby. What, what are you, a baby, Tom? All right, Johnny Cannon saying here. To be honest, right here, this is this is the first time I ever saw him. Don't worry, practice makes perfect, Johnny. Just ask Russell Wilson. This does not look like his first hairdresser. Daddy. Yup, those are some strong daddy skills right there. The reality is, these last few months, most of our dads have had more time than ever to help their children. And they've taken advantage of them. No better way to bond than getting this way. Thank you, John. Yeah, I mean, it was it was it was a it was a hell of an experience for Jason. It was something that that we as a that I know Jason was really happy about him being such a big hockey guy, and I know we were all excited for you and for him, and definitely put a lot brought a lot of attention to Jaspies. And it, I think it it was worked out for all of us. All right, let's keep rolling. Mustakis to one forty nine. Aaron Judge, Jorge Soler. Verlander. We got a gold Zach Thompson, top of the class, two out of ten. Kind of like the this orange and red sherbet sort of pattern, sort of color there. All of those will ship, of course. 
top of the class. Zach Thompson is out of 10. That'll be Jim Morin and the Cardinals. Oh. Zach Ranke to 175 for Houston. And Bruce Star Graterall, Dodgers edition, going to Oliver with the Dodgers. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. Yeah, is this a hot box with, with these extra parallels? I think so. Maybe a couple extra of those special parallels per uh, per pack, it looks like. The Dallas Keuchel, 49 out of 50. And that these, these snake skin, these reptile animal skin patterns have been pretty popular. All right, there's Dylan Cease, White Sox, Leonard with the White Sox. Optimus Rain 420 saying, I got the Zion logo, man, so y'all can stop hunting. I guess it's over, folks. No other Zions in there to change. Eddie, he, uh, John McCall hit the that Connor McDavid jersey number RPA from one of our breaks a while back, and it just sold on auction earlier tonight for over a hundred thousand dollars. There's Javier Baez, instant impact, thirty-five. And there's Jesus Lazardo. Who says Arthur doesn't hit? Oakland A's, AP. Twenty out of twenty-five. I think that's the guy he, Arthur is specifically chasing, because he's from Peru, right? What is the país here? I think Peru is that where you is that why you were chasing him, or is it the other guy? It was another guy. That's him. That's that's the guy. All right. Uh, yes, someone can check the email on that. Our team will take care of it, whatever it was. I don't think that's going off until tomorrow anyway. All right, next box. We did, Optimus, on Leland's. Oh, it's nothing compared to your Logo Man RPA Zion, Optimus. So, I mean, I'm sure you're not that impressed. Um... We know people at Leland's, Matthew. The boss man has a long-standing friendship with with the Leland's, so that's why. In fact, the boss man, Mike Jasperson, this is, this is a true story, right? Mike, your dad helped found Leland's? That's what he says? What's that? Yeah, they're, they're old friends with uh, Josh, Josh Leland, right? Evan. 
And I think uh, I think the boss man Mike had helped, like found it basically. I, he I don't think he has any hasn't had any business interest in it, um, in a long time. So we're so financially he's not connected like that. But but yeah, that's why and they're old old friends, helping out friends helping out friends. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, there's 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 no no secrets there. All right, there's Eddie Rosario to seventy five. What did the trout book or the trout book? What did the uh, fifty auto book close at? Sixty six out of seventy five. Patrick Sandoval for the Angels. Brandon Walker. I saw Angels and I was like. 68, oh, I was hoping you would crack seven. 68.95, that's not bad. Is it worth on a page? A proclamation or a law? Or is it something I think a lot of us, when we first pulled it, were definitely excited. Maybe a little overexcited. Thought that was going to go for a lot more than it also did. Redemption. Let's see who's not signing their cards and turning them in on time. There's Logan Webb to 99. Gio Urshela, Brian Abreu, Adalberto Mondesi, and we've got the Giants' Maurizio Dubon right here. Look at a big leg kick. That goes to Michael Armstrong and the Giants, my rivals. Yeah, I thought it would go for more, too, El Cano. I mean, some people were talking crazy prices. You know, they, they were saying, like, McDavid prices. Right? I, I didn't think it was going to go for that. I thought it'd go for a little more than what it ended up selling for, though. Maybe double that. There's Jose Ramirez. Nice. The Tiger Stripe parallels. I think are fewer and far between. That'll be for Rick T and the Indians. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah, it's cooler in, I feel like it's cooler in person, right? Mike Tower is like kind of hard to photograph. There's a lime green Gavin Lux to 125. Yeah. Maybe hard to display too. Every time you want to show your friends, you have to open that thing up, right? So maybe, maybe, maybe those are some factors that we just didn't think about. When we when we originally pulled it, just the excitement got a hold of it. It's still one of the coolest cards that we've ever pulled. And just and just in terms of just wow factor, pro penmanship silver prism. I say prism silver is always nice. It's a a Aaron Judge Aaron Aaron Judge. Wow, Aaron, Mr. Judge, you gotta sign your cards, Matt Medlin. With the Bronx Bombers. And you get a free top lower out of it, too. There you go. Ah, that's right, Jack B. Also, the longest card that we've ever pulled. I pulled a card this big. Watch, catch me on the stream in about five years, Jack. I'll be like, yeah, that, that card went from one end of the store to the other. It was the longest card we've ever seen. Twenty years later, I'll be like, yeah, it went from the break studio right out to the parking lot. 
It just kept unfolding. You wouldn't believe it. I would hope so. Dark Sider. Brandon's saying whoever buys it will probably have it in a glass case. Yeah, I hope it's not just folded back up and and, and, and tucked away. I hope they I hope whoever gets it displays it, shows it off a little bit. Maybe a hobby shop got it or something. Is it really? The fifty auto books are most viewed? There's JT Real Muto. There's Mike Fulton Nevitz. Autograph for the Bravos. Matt Medlin with that one too. So Braves and Yankees hidden. There you go, Matt. Freddie Freeman, that's to uh, 149. Also for the Braves. Josh is saying get the, better get Ultra Pro on the phone. Build, build a magnetic, custom magnetic. Instant Impact, Trout Silver. No, I don't think they do make a, a book for the mag book for that. Yeah, you just put it in a glass. I think you're right. You should put it in a glass like display case. To 125, Kyle Lewis, Lime Green. The 50 auto book card EJC ended up going for 6,895, and the Connor McDavid sold for 113, 176. Pretty solid numbers, especially since. Both of these these people got those in our group break, so they got they got in for a fraction of the price. Although I think the luminaries was a personal box, wasn't it? But it was only like two. Yeah, it was like a two hundred and fifty dollar spot. Richie Martin for the Orioles. Johnny Cannon on the board. Francisco Lindor to 75. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. I like that. That's that's a that's one of my favorite guy cook moves. Four out of 75. Brandon McKay, Pinocchio. You've got potential. You've got potential. Uh, Henry White with the Rays. Yeah, I, I've got it right here. It's that one right there, Pro Pendenship, card one. The Lindor checkerboard for Rick T, that's the 75. Anthony Rizzo to 99. I don't know what those, what those are supposed to look like, but well, food, but Aaron Judge is a nice autograph too. It should be well worth the wait. Two boxes to go. This actually went a little bit more quickly than I thought. It should be about a 35, 40 minute break.
Baseball's not happening, right, guys? I'm very, I'm very concerned now. I thought we were about to get some headway with, uh, we were about to get a little headway with, with both sides getting, getting on the same page. Yeah, that's what they that's this guy's saying. But now, teams, players getting t tested and testing positive for COVID. There's Sean Manea to 50. Yeah, I'm not pleased with the, well, the owner's dragging on for, for, for all this time. In March, they, they all sat down when they were, they were all, you know, being nice with each other. They were like, yeah, prorated contracts based on X amount of games and we'll just roll with it. And oh yeah, there you go, Jonathan Diaz or da Daza autograph for you, El Cano. Josh Cannon with that. You distracted me with your question uh, or with your comment. But yeah, then they were like, "Well, not only do we want to prorate it, we want to take money off of that prorated salary." Now, for a lot of players, it's still millions of dollars, but it's you know, it's it's a, it's a it's the principle of the matter. And there's Matt Tice, the 25. So yeah, I mean you can't you can't do that. And they're like, oh, but loss of revenue and. But then they get like that billion dollar TBS playoff deal, right? Silver Bo Bichette. All right, so Silver Bo Bichette's pretty cool. Chris Bryant to 99. But I don't know. I mean, you would think that these billionaire owners can pay like these minor league kids who aren't making nearly as much as the big leaguers are. But I don't know. The players kind of talking out, chirping a little bit. I don't think that was a good look for them either. Even though I agreed with them. There's Brian Reynolds to 149 and Domingo Leyva. Red Wave autograph. Arthur with the snakes. Alex Bregman, lime green to 125. I mean, like, how many, you know, how many, how many years do players get to make that money for their specialized talent? The average player. Not everyone's getting trout money. You know, there's Joey Bart. Nice Joey prospect, Bart, Bart prospect autograph for Michael Armstrong. Meanwhile, Owners can make money off of Joey Bart's likeness in perpetuity, probably, with all their marketing and highlight packages and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, ask Buster Posey to come back for Buster Posey Day, fill up the stands a little bit, you know? Like, Giants will bank off of Buster Posey for decades to come. What do I think of the Tops project? I think it was I was a I was surprised at how well they how well it sold like uh, secondary market wise like some of them sold really really well. Um, so. Rocky says, let them go put their life on the line, make, make 40 a year. Yeah, you can make that argument, but I don't know. I feel like that's apples and oranges, right? 
they've been they they've been they've been their 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 hands and their arms have been touched by the the hand of God to be one of the one percent or two percent on the planet that can do what they do to throw a 95 mile per hour fastball with precision and to hit that 95 mile per hour fastball that's you know they're they're, they're doing a specialized specialized thing so they get they get paid accordingly but But I, I I think that's you know it's different. It's but it's but you can compare it to what if your job says, what if your job says, hey, business is not doing well, you know, we're gonna we're gonna cut your salary a little bit, you know, because of the corona. There's Tyrone Taylor from Milwaukee, and then they go back on it saying, oh, we're gonna cut even more money. But it's like, well, I we agreed on this three months ago. It's not exactly the dollar figure is really can't get caught up in the dollar figure. It's about the the, the principle of it, and it's like these billionaire owners saying, "Hey, cut us some slack." No one should be angry at the players, really. There's Hyunjin Ru, seventy-five. I for one. Not eager to 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 cut some slack to to billionaire owners. Yeah, but being a cop or being an auto worker or being you know a first responder is completely different from. Do those guys need to get paid more? Absolutely. Do they need to get absolutely? Should they be played like ball players? Probably. You know, but but unfortunately, you know, the local fire department is not a billion dollar business. <laughs> but yeah, maybe maybe Rocky you're right, maybe those baseball players should just get cut. But see that just puts puts more money in the pockets of billionaire owners. To 125 there's Merrill which is something that I'm not interested in. Toronto Blue Jays. TJ Zoo. No, I, yes, I I agree. I think the way the players presented themselves, Rocky, I agree. Maybe, maybe they definitely did not look like they had they were kind of appreciated the tone of the the situation, you know. But does that mean that they should just keep conceding to their bosses? I mean, once once your boss starts taking money away from you, and they're like, well, if you're okay with that, you know, that could happen in any job. I don't think anyone would stand for that in their job. And for, for right now, those professional ball players, it's a job to them. Last redemption. And really, it's a small percentage of people that are actually making the big money. Most most guys are just making like vet minimums, right? All right. Redemption. Last one is uh, Yoshimoto Sutsugo. Yoshitomo Sutsugo. Rays? I had the checklist up, didn't I? Yeah. Yosh, where do you go? Uh, yes, Tampa Bay Rays. I got it. I don't always get these, so this is a, this is a proud moment for me. So that goes to Henry White and the Tampa Bay Rays. A pretty solid break. Great discussion, too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, folks. Hey, let's get some baseball back in general. You know, both owners and players need to just get that done.
And everyone, be healthy out there. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time.